Woo wee, what's going on, YouTubers? Donnie B all day. So, uh, so we got a couple things here, man. I'm still facing all this destruction that happened. And I figure, well, I really want to use this guy right here, right? This, uh, it's basically a one handed broadsword. It's the 40, uh, 41 inch hand forged sword from Cisco Supplies. It's a high carbon steel spring steel. You can see. I think y'all can see that. Um, and it comes fairly dull, so I just sharpened it a little bit, right? And you can see it's both sides sharpened, and I did it by hand. You can tell because I ground my knuckle out on the on the uh, on the belt. Um, but this thing, um, this thing's pretty cool, man. It's pretty cool. So what I really want to do is just see if I can't knock a couple branches down with this thing, or maybe some one-inch forest trees. But listen, uh, you guys all know, um, well, everybody knows Scab, Choir Boys Cutlery, my buddy, my boy, my brother. Um, so basically, uh, Scab is doing a like a live show type deal. I don't even know what it's called. Um, a a uh, talking knives or talking blades, something like that with um, Joe from Steel Forged and Fire Sword and Knife, I think it is. I'm going to put it down below. Um, He's doing that with Joe, and so far so good. It's it's coming out really well. Um, they do a bunch of um, blade discussion, things like that, like sharpening, taking care of your blades, different things. There's going to be guest people on there. Um, some of them you might know, some of them you might not. You might know one of them that'll be on there eventually. Um, but they're doing a big thing, and Joe, Joe is like a really quality dude, man. He's a I'm talking a really quality dude. And um, he really knows his stuff. He's a big katana guy. Japanese steel, he just loves it. Um, and uh, and his following is growing, but the problem is it's not growing fast enough for what he brings to the table. And um, as you can see, it's raining here, so I'm gonna try to get this done quick. But um, I, I looked and I think he had like 434 subscribers and I thought, how? Just doesn't match. So I think me and Scap need to, um, need to up his his game his ante there so i think what we need to do <laughs> is a giveaway and uh i'm gonna throw something in the pot scab's gonna throw something in the pot um let's try and and get this guy to i don't know if he's got 430 i mean saying let's go to 500 is going to be kind of easy and, and cheesy for a giveaway something where you're actually going to get something no we have to have it worked for so let's say let's get joe to 600 right 600 then he's almost there to a thousand and we'll get him going yada 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 so um scab is going to do a video announcing that he's going to be doing a giveaway um i'm announcing now that i'm going to be doing a giveaway i haven't figured out what the giveaway is yet um i will make that determination and uh you guys will know it's going to be something obviously we're trying to get to a guy to 600 so i'm going to throw in something i'm going to throw in something and um and so will scab so we're gonna try. We're gonna try to make it happen. Let's get the guy to 600, and there will be two chances of winning. One from me, one from Scott. Um, and and that's great. And who knows? You know how this community works. If somebody else sees the giveaway and they say, "Well, shoot, I'm in," they might do a video and give something away too. So the more we can get this guy climbed up, the better chances you have to get some stuff. So now I'm gonna talk real quick before we swing this 41 inch, almost 33 inch blade uh high carbon steel leather wrapped handle and it's uh i believe it's the the tang goes all the way through and there's two pieces of wood that um circle around it and are are fixed on i think they're glued on and then wrapped um and the tang does go all the way through um so far so far i really as far as the weight is concerned it's almost like a hand and a half because you have this you have this big um, pommel at the end that you can grab onto um, and give it a good hucking but we're gonna find out how that is now you guys I am right now and speaking of giveaways I am right now and currently sitting at um, 6,000 something I, I, I'm not 100% sure I think 6,700 um, subscribers well that means we're climbing we're doing good right um, in this time from from day none or day one and day none to now 
in that time, I've become a um, a very very well known um, master knife designer. Obviously, you guys know the D Bad designs are selling like crazy. Um, the Kukri House in Nepal um, right now with the D Bad designs, they are making um, more sales than in their history ever. They're doing phenomenal, and um, that's fantastic. I have some big news coming. I plan on working with another person on a very special design um, and uh, trying to get another one pumped out. And uh, well, not trying, it's it's going to be happening. So we're, we're hashing out some details and it's gonna be big and it's going to be a, uh, a knife company you guys all know. So um, so that's that. So my, my thing is I wanna do another giveaway, but I wanna do a bigger giveaway. And so I wanna to get to 10,000 and I need to get there fast. Can't get there without you guys. Share, share, share the video, share like on Facebook, Instagram, whatever, share photos, whatever you can do, just promote it. Get your friends to come over and just say, subscribe. That's all they need to do, it costs nothing. Um, just subscribe, let's get to 10,000 because at 10,000, guys, it, the, the giveaway is gonna be a little better. And, and by that time, I know my man Scab is gonna be right there behind me and there's a pretty good chance Scab's gonna say, well, hell, if you're giving away something at 10,000, I'm gonna add to it because that's who he is. So um, so that's it. Let's uh, let's do that. And if you guys wanna send stuff to me, just let me know. I'll give you an email. You guys could send crap out. I just got a box of stuff in and I'm eager to get through it. Um, so I am always loving donations. And also on my main page inside the little photo there that um, my mission, uh, mission four, there's a little donate button. If you really wanna donate, donate to the cause. It only gets bigger and better. All right, so let's start with this little tiny one inch force. I'm gonna see if I can do an up cut. And that was pretty easy, man. That was almost katana-like. All right, so let's shred that down a little bit so you can see it. Let's take a, let's take a shot at this one. And I think I just fell short, I nicked it. Let's go again. And that time I hit it, I maybe just not, not made it sharp enough for this kind of stuff. But there we go, there we go. All right, so now I have branches and stuff that are just all over the place. Just gonna take a couple of them out. They're, they're coming over the driveway. This one, you guys should be able to see. Come down. Yes, sir. All right, so I know you didn't come out here to watch me tackle some one inch four stuff. So let's go hit something a little bigger. Let's go hit something a little bigger. On the way there, we might hit something a little smaller, but that's only because I see it. It's only because it's right in front of my face and it's bugging me. So let's see. Let's see. So far, I, I am really appreciating the weight of this. Look at this, man. It's sweet. It's pretty darn sweet. So, um, it's a, uh, it's heavy. It's heavy like a broadsword should be, but it's not overly heavy like it shouldn't be. So I'm pretty happy with that. Let's go find. I mean, we, <laughs> what can we hit? We have enough stuff out here. Let's see if this Cisco blade will hold up to, to some banging, to some hitting, to some nitty gritting. All right. Make sure you're all there. Make sure you're all there. Woo wee! Let's see, this is a nice hard one. All right, let's see what we got here. Oh my gosh! That actually felt really good. It felt really good. Look at that. So now we're gonna hit this one again. It's nice and thick, I'll show you. Man, this is what we're looking at now. These are like power hits of dry stuff, so they're just breaking, right? But this is causing it to break. You know what I mean? They're not breaking from just looking at it. Here's a softer one. That's a fresh one. I cut this one off instead. There we go. There we go. So it's coming, man. It's coming along. Wow. It's like, it's like chopping bone, right? It just comes down. Let me see if I know this stuff isn't, well, the hard stuff was hard, but this stuff is a little soft. I might put a finer edge on there. I just put a, um, I just put an edge that was better than what was on there, but I think I might have to go with a finer, finer edge. Let's see. 
Let's see. Are we in? Yeah, we're in. I'm gonna try a one hand. Oh, wow, that put a nice cut into it. Let's see, I'm gonna bend the hell out of this blade, I think. I am, I'm bending it. Let's see, there we go. Goes right back. That's the best part about spring steel. There we go. So let me show you how much bending I, well, you could, I think you could see it. Right here, there's a nice warp. So this thing is gonna bend and what I, what I would do is, let's see, I think there's a bend right there. So I'm gonna stick it in the ground and I'm gonna do a little bending back. Let's see, so far that's looking pretty good. I'm gonna use my knee, just give it a little bit of a touch right there. And that's the best part about this stuff, man, is you can just use your hand, because this, is, this isn't obviously a combat sword, but I'll tell you what, I wouldn't want somebody swinging it at my neck or my forearm. That's not so bad. That's not so bad, let's hit something else. So if you're looking for like a display sword, um, that's a high carbon handmade piece. I mean, this thing isn't heat treated the best, obviously. Um, we're finding that out. But um, I would say that if you do like reenactment stuff where you need something sitting in a frog that looks good, this thing is gonna look fantastic just sitting there. Um, uh, is it going to be the kind where you are clashing edges? No, not at all. But I mean, how many people are out there in a regular setting? Let me bend this little bend back. Ugh, I just saw it. There we go. And look at that. It was completely warped. I just straightened it. Wow. That straightened really nice. I'm surprised it didn't cut my fingers because it's sharp enough to do that. Um, so yeah, so hitting hard stuff, I'm putting zero dents in the edges. I mean, I'm looking at these edges and these edges, these edges look great. The difference is it'll warp by hitting something hard and heavy. That's not to say, I mean, I'll tell you what, personal protection, yeah, somebody comes into the house, this thing's going through. This thing's going to and through, and it's gonna get the job done. Um, that, I have no doubt. I mean, no doubt at all. Um, if, if this thing's swinging at a arm or a leg or a torso, um, it's gonna do some damage. Will it bend if it hits a, like, skin? I don't know, but if it hits bone hard enough, I bet it'll bend, but I have it so sharp that just doing that, I can feel the edge, and I guarantee swinging, it would it would probably, uh, if, if not lop everything off, it would come pretty close. It would leave it dangling. It would leave it dangling. Man, so if you're looking for, like, especially a prop piece, and these things are so cheap, like, as far as um, price-wise, so cheap that you could like literally build one of those thrones with all the swords in the background or just do like decorative wall hangs, things like that, where, you know, you could have your, your helmet and your shield and your chest plate, and you could pick up a, a sword, a handmade sword that actually looks really cool. I mean, it looks really cool. Um, put an edge on it if you want. Don't put an edge on you want. It depends on what you do with it. Um, I know what I can do with this now. I can hit the light stuff. I can hit one inch forest trees and it's not gonna bend it. Harder stuff, gonna bend it. But if I come over here and oh, let's just go over here and I see all this crap and you know I like to do fancy gardening. Fancy, I mean swinging stuff that isn't normally used for gardening. But I know using this as like a scythe or a sickle, um, I know that that's not gonna bend it. I know. and. It's fun to just walk around the yard with a giant sword doing this and taking down all that crap. And that's not going to do anything to it. So, I mean, you look, I just mowed down that little area right there. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. So, here's the deal. Get over to, um, to Joe's channel, uh, for, uh, Steel Forged and Fire Swords and Knives. I definitely have to put the link down because last time I just called him Samurai Joe. Um, so uh, get over to his channel and give him a subscribe. I'm not asking you to do anything special. I'm not saying prove it by, by hitting, uh, or, or by saying something nice or by doing this. I don't care if you're subscribed, you're subscribed. I'm going to be able to see it. And he's going to have a list of everybody who subscribed. 
And, um, and to make it very fair, I think what I'll do is when the subscriptions after Scab's video is up and the subs hit 600, I think what we will do is, um, is have Joe, at least I'll have mine done this way. I'll have Joe go through the, um, go through his list of subscribers and do the random winners and, and let him do the do it on the computer because you know me i'm just gonna end up like throwing a, a dart or a chinese star into a number <laughs> um and right now we're raining man we're getting some rain in the next few days i don't want to deal with all that so here it is the cisco 41 inch handmade or hand forged sword um is it worth the money i think it's only like 40 bucks 50 bucks somewhere in there for a wall hanging sword that you can do very light work with yeah i mean this would be really cool at any renaissance fair i mean any renaissance fair this thing just looks great and it doesn't come sharp so if you are using it as a at a renaissance fair you don't have to worry about having it on your frog and turn around and slicing the lady's leg behind you it's just gonna bounce off she'll be okay um and if she's not run so that's it uh stay tuned for scab's video because he's gonna put something up regarding joe uh, the way he, he does it might be different than the way I'm doing it. But as soon as I find out what I'm going to use for a giveaway, then um, that's going to be the, the introduction to the giveaway um, or, or whatever. I'll just tell you what I'm giving you. So, and that's it. And then he'll be able to do his thing. So I'm going to try and figure something out fast, what I'm going to do for the giveaway. And, um, and then we will wait and see what Scab has to do. But somebody's getting some stuff that's a guarantee and all you have to do is go and hit subscribe to a dude's channel and while you're doing that if you haven't already done that to mine hit subscribe to that channel it's really freaking simple watch videos subscribe share them like them if you hit like the algorithms go up um if you want to see some really badass designs i have so much coming out um and i'm promoting another uh another knife guy i'm i'm, I'm, I'm going to some guys that that are forgers and I'm going to be bringing a couple of them a different design. And uh, what it's going to do is it's going to promote their their sword. I mean, not sword, um, their, their knife making. And it will give you guys an opportunity to pick up a knife from another uh, forger um, that would be one of my designs. And everybody keeps asking me about some, a few of my designs, certain designs. And they're, they're going to be on the back burner if I wait to do it where I'm doing it. And if I don't, if I use another forger... Then they're going to get out a lot faster and whoever that forger is is going to they're going to blow up make a ton of money and forgers like making money because forging is hard so that's it lots of cool stuff coming um very very cool this thing was fun to play with but it was mainly just something to get out and uh and talk about joe so that's it i am donnie bialdi until next knife